What's poppin'? How y'all doing? Okay, I-95 traffic. Yeah, it's on a Friday. It's not that bad as she's moving and I'm passing my house. I'm going like, ow. Another 15 miles past, I got something to do. Anyway, I wanna talk about Tank real quick. So I saw, oh, by the way, I'm Diddy Love, the big beauty foodie. Okay. How y'all doing? Welcome to all my beauties, cuties, foodies, loved ones. How y'all doing? Did y'all have a good day? Thank God it is Friday. Okay. Um, so, Tank. I was on Facebook, and I also posted a meme on my face, on my Instagram. The meme said that free R. Kelly and put and take that dick sucking ass tank now this is why i'm telling you you cannot follow hood law i told y'all hood laws are flawed like a motherfucker and people who abide by these laws and rules and thinks this shit is cute and funny need to understand they don't ever take it a step further or think on the next level see that's why i'm considered to be with the bullshit and i'm here for it i'm here to point out stupid ass shit all right, and, and yes, these are some of my peoples, and they love me. We go head to head and toe to toe all the motherfuckers have, so they already know what it is, okay? So, first of all, let's free R. Kelly and uh, let Tank put Tank in jail. Tank is a consenting, grown-ass adult is what we were speaking on, okay? That's basically what we're saying. If he suck a little dick, he sucks a little dick, because when women say it, had a woman gone on there and said the same thing, nobody would have gave a shit, Okay? Women, we claim that we want to know the truth. Y'all want to know who's on the down low. These men are never going to tell y'all as long as the responses are negative. Like what Tank got. What Tank received was really unnecessary. And then when you look at the whole gist of what was saying, he didn't just go on the radio and say, yeah, if you suck dick twice, da, 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 da. There was a whole discussion prior to that. So it was kind of taken out of context what he said. But nobody does research. Nobody gives a shit. People only want to take a little piece. So. You want the truth, you're going to have to open your ears and shut your mouth and stop being rude and listen. Because at the end of the day, honey, a lot of y'all are dating gay dudes, bisexual men. Sure. And, and I told y'all in one of my other videos, this, if Nick got a funny smell, that's what it is. Dick on his breath. Hello. So anyway, um, yeah, so Free R. Kelly, the pedophile. Really? Free the pedophile? See, y'all not thinking. He's still, R. Kelly's a pedophile. It is what it is. I don't give a shit. And I'll confess, yes, I do listen to the Chocolate Factory. I still do. I love that album. I love, my, I love that. The songs on there, R. Kelly loves somebody during that point. Because that the Chocolate Factory album is beautiful. It is so well written. It is written to a woman who is loved by some man. It is unfortunate that his pedophile ass wrote it like that, but he did. And I, I, hey, it is what it is. But I'm not gonna excuse what he did and say, oh, let the pedophile out and lock Tank up because a grown man makes a consensual decision to fuck somebody or whatever. And R. Kelly's an, a better person. You got to be kidding me. And you all need to understand again, Gay is a sexuality. It has nothing to do with your personality, okay? Being gay is not a crime. Being a pedophile is. Hello? And these are the thoughts and the views in our community, and this is why things keep happening to our small children. The little girl, sweet cupcake. Yes. Why? Someone thought it was okay. Guess what? A pedophile killed her. The only difference between R. Kelly and another pedophile is that he makes music. He called himself the Pied Piper. But, lock, tank up. But we want to have open discussions. They're telling you that black women are the highest age rate, which is, I don't know if that's true or not. You know, I know a lot of y'all believe these stats and shit that they be putting out, but don't believe everything you read them. Don't, don't, because a lot of this shit ain't true. It's just not. Like the unemployment stats, a lot of this is bullshit. Believe me, a lot of people are unemployed. When they tell you there are a lot of jobs, it's because they're talking about jobs that pay $10 an hour. They're not talking about real job jobs, you know, careers and no shit like that. But anyway, at the end of the day, people, 
if you want to move forward with this whole you want honesty you want truth but you can't be shaming people in the same breath if a dude tell you that he licks a little dick you better be glad he told you and take the proper precautions and move it along you feel me because that's just what it is like it, it is what it is i would rather know than not know and have that option you know because come on you see some women with men and you be like you know that nigga gay and I know a few dudes that done done some gay for pay shit. And I'm like, oof. You know, I'll, if only they knew. And they have a lot of children, too. That's the other thing. It's like they got a point to prove or something. But if a woman says the same thing, nobody has a problem with it. So, freeing R. Kelly to lock Tank up is fucking ridiculous from my point of view. I don't, I don't agree with that. I think it's ignorant. I think we need to do better as a community and we really need to start thinking shit through and just stop reading shit and clapping to it because that makes no sense oh and my other point is this also in our community we have been taught to shame gay people because they do it at church right they shame gay people but they never ever prosecute or they condemn or persecute the pastor who's a pedophile Gang. The whole Catholic church, the Baptist church, we got the Eddie Longs and we got my, oh my God, my man James Cleveland, y'all know I love him too. But that's the shit that goes on. And let somebody speak against Eddie Long. One of, I, one of my pastors, I do her here. Oh my God. <laughs> do not speak against him. Even though everybody know what he did. But some gay, a group of gay men show up at church. They're going to start that Solomon Gomorrah stuff. Uh-huh. But we ain't gonna say nothing about the pedophiles. Y'all ever notice they don't talk about pedophilia at church? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They run that they run down that gay. That gay gonna die. Gay going to hell. Gay, gay, gay. But they don't say nothing about them pedophiles. Sleeping with little girls and sleeping with little boys and doing all that bullshit. So yeah. Okay. Deuces. Leave me some comments down there. I love y'all. I'm on my way home. It's not even home. I am passed home, but I'm on the road, so I'm going to be yik-yak, and I'm going to drop another video. I'll see you all in a minute. Deuces.